But what is the evidence that uh, God exists and that Islam is actually the purpose of life? Why not any other religion that believes in God? Okay, excellent question. Did anybody hear the question? Okay, perfect. Now, I said in the beginning that I wouldn't be able to get into the whole philosophy of proving there's a creator and things of that nature because I had 45 minutes. And if I went down that tangent, it would take me double that at minimum, at minimum. But I did allude to the fact that when you look at the world around you, to say that it has no design or no designer is beyond the capacity of the human intellect. That we look at everything based upon the meal, who gave it, who made it, who cooked it, the car, who makes it, the building, who built it. So the human mind, rather than using its intelligence that it thinks that it has to deny the Creator, is supposed to use that information to prove and to show itself that there is a design to this. That there is a design to this. Now if somebody said, prove that there is a God, I'm telling you that you are the proof. You are the proof that there is a God, that there is a Creator. You are the living proof of it. Everything that exists, exists for the reason. And God says this in the Qur'an. In the Qur'an, Allah says, Do you not look at what's around you? Do you not look inside of your own selves to realize that I exist? Is that not enough evidence for you? I've sent you prophets and messengers blazing with miracles. You have a Qur'an with you that is immaculate. You have the world around you. You have your body and how it's designed. You have all of these things that if your intellect were allowed to just go its own path and let it be used as God wanted it to be used, your intellect would confer with that evidence I have given you. The problem is, is when the human being gets enough intelligence that they think themselves superior to everything else. This is the problem. When we allow our intelligence to make us greater, than our own design. And we start trying to manipulate the world and the ideas of how it became through our own understanding of it. And that's just not the way it's supposed to be. You'll never understand this world. You'll never understand its intricacy. You'll never understand the complete anatomy of how the human body works. We just not. Our human brains are not going to allow us within our 90 to 100 years. Maybe the next people will add to it and other people will add to it, but we'll never fully comprehend it. We'll never fully comprehend what's out there in space and things of that nature. So that is part of the test. If somebody says, I want you to show me living proof that there is a God that exists. Show it to me tangibly. I would tell you one thing right now. There is a book that does that very beautifully. There's a book that will give you all of the proof that you need that will be better than anything I can ever tell you. Do we have a table with the Qur'ans around? Go to the table where they are giving out information. Pick up that one book called the Qur'an and read it. Read it. If you do not find within it the answers that you're looking for for the purpose of life and the fact that there is a Creator, then, then, there's, then I can't help you with any words that I can say. Because these are the words of the Creator. Yes, they are translated into another language and they've lost some of the meaning, but they were enough for me. They were enough for our brother here, Yusuf Chambers, and they were enough for a lot of people in this room. So here is my, my request to you, and this is the only thing I can say to you. If you're sincere and you want to know the truth, you really want to know the truth, then go home tonight. Go by yourself. I don't care whether it's in your room or in your car or wherever it is. Make sure you're alone and say these words, even if you don't really mean them right or you don't really believe them right now. You don't believe there's a God. Just say these words and mean it. Say, Creator. If there is a creator out there that created me, guide me to the truth. That's all you have to say. If there is a creator who created me, guide me to the truth. I do that as a Muslim at least minimum 17 times every single day in my prayers. I ask for guidance to the right path. If you say that sincerely, and you're really sincere about it, and you're willing to follow that path wherever it may go, you will find the truth. Because it says in the Qur'an that we guide those who will to walk upright. Whoever searches for our ways, we will guide them to our paths. So if you're sincere about that effort, go home and do that tonight, you won't be left wondering. So that's as close as I can get to answering that question without a whole other lecture about science and Islam and the Qur'an. And we will go on and on and on. Maybe we'll save that for my next trip in Norway. God willing. Yes, young man, who's been waiting patiently. Yes, um, my question is, can you summarize what... <laughs> Can you summarize what you've just said? What do you mean summarize what I just said? Which part of it? Make it easier. Hmm? Make it easier for you. Make it easier for you? You mean about the purpose of life? No. Uh, yeah. D uh, yeah. The reason for the purpose of life is to worship the one who created you. That's it. That is the purpose of life. To worship the one who created you. Do what he wants you to do. Live your life the way he wants you to live it. 
That's it. In Islam, it's very simple. You see, we were given something called a free will, right? Everyone in here has a free will, right? You can do what you want, correct? You can go out today and do whatever you wish. That's it. Do what you want. Free will. Islam teaches us that that free will is also a test. That free will is also a test. And what Islam is about is submitting that free will, giving that will back. Saying, look, I don't want this free will thing, man, because if I try to figure it out on my own, I'm going to screw it up. God hears that will back. Now I want to do your will. So you make your will the will of God, what He wants you to do in your life. That's all it's about. Because if we try to figure out on our own, we're going to screw up. We've done it too many times. We have to have guidance. And that guidance comes through the one who created us. This show, this show.